Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Seno and welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man from Scratch series. Thank you all for joining me guys. Now today, or no, sorry, now this episode we will be unlocking curses. Now like all you guys, I am extremely excited, but I am also extremely nervous. A couple of you pointed out to me last episode that yes, I probably should have done the Abyss mini quest a lot earlier. And the only thing I really have to say to that is, yeah, you're absolutely right, I totally should have. Um, but look, I just... I think initially I forgot about it or I procrastinated on it and then it just sort of, you know, one thing led to another and, w w you know, we're here where, where we are now. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm extremely nervous about that. Even though it is only like level 7 wilderness, I will be taking my main account with me just to scout. And yeah, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Look, I mean, I've watched a guide on the mini quest. It... If we, if we manage to get PK'd, I think I'm just gonna take the L because, like, I can't imagine if I'm being vigilant enough with an, with another account scouting, I can't imagine there being a world where we manage to get killed. So hopefully that's the case, but guys, with all that rambling out of the way, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, coming in on another procrastination level, level 79, so we are one off the big 80. I'll probably stop at level 80 and then man up and go and do the quests, but at least for the next maybe, uh, the next 55 minutes I can just sort of relax. And with that, that is level 80 cooking guys, so yeah, like I said, I don't think I can put it off anymore. We can now cook sharks, that's good enough for me. I've just woken up, I've got my cup of tea with me. Let's go and do this fucking quest. Okay, so I've got my main account here and I've just got him on legacy mode because I was about to run him out into the wilderness, but I just caught in my, in the sort of top left corner of my eye, it was some players running up and down doing some rune crafting. And you can see there, there's there's another one. So I know he's probably not dangerous, but I am going to hop wells just in case. Okay guys, I think I've found my world. I'm on world, not that it really matters, but 68. I've been here for a couple of minutes and I haven't seen anyone. So I think this is it. I think this is gonna be the world that I do it on. Okay guys, I think we're good. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. It looks clear on my main account, so can we enter? Enter. Alright, we're looking clear on the scout. Let's quickly run out. It's one dialogue option, so let's just be quick with this. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here. Also, I just realized that I ran into the wilderness with like everything on me. Like, I know I wanted the armor, but I'm not sure whether I should have risked the fury. I don't know. I'm just glad that it's over. But I do know that I have to go, I have to go back like a, a couple more times. So it's not we're, not, we're not out of the woods yet, but for some reason it feels like the worst part is over. Oh, we got the, I was under the impression I had to go back into the wilderness one more time, but I'm going to say no because the reward screen is here. I think they might have changed it. Originally, you have to go back into the wilderness and teleport on the Mage of Zamorak in order to finish it, but looks like they've changed it. Yeah, it even says that the quest has been ticked off in the requirements tab, so I guess we're just going to go and complete Wanted now. Alright, so we've reached the part in the quest where we have to go back into the wilderness, so I'm going to get my main account back and we'll do it one more time. Hopefully it goes just as smoothly. Okay, once again, I am scouting. It's looking pretty clear, so... I think if I just drag that over there and leave it on my second monitor, I think we're looking pretty good. Alright, let's go. Now, like before, it's only one dialogue option we have to... achieve. So let's make this nice and quick. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. That was a little bit scary, <laughs> but we're all good. I think that's all the wilderness stuff we need to do. So now we're in the... we're in the clear. Alright, so I'm about halfway through the wanted quest at the moment, and this is the time where the mage guy is about to hit me for like a large percentage of my life points. He doesn't actually kill me, like you can't die as the player, but if you are wearing a ring of life, it will destroy the ring of life, so I'm going to take it off. Every fiber of my being wants to keep this ring on, but we should take it off so it doesn't destroy. There it is. I think it, I don't know how much it hits me for, but it doesn't kill me. Oh, it doesn't even affect my life points. I thought they were going to drain down to like, you know, one or some shit. This dialogue is still going. Oh, okay, so there is the hit. Right, okay. So it was just delayed by all the dialogue. Nice. Alright. Let's finish up. Okay, this should be the end of the quest if we just talk to Sir Amic here. And there it is. One quest point, 5,000 Slayer XP and access to the White Knight Armory. Sure thing. But the more important thing is... That was the only quest and the Abyss mini game and the Abyss mini quest, sorry. They were the only two that were really stopping me from really going for curses just because of the wilderness stuff. But now that it's all done, it's full steam ahead. 
Also, just a passing note, guys. We passed 900 subs today. Good shit, guys. Keep it up. Do get ready for this. This is a friggin' intense cutscene, bro. Oh shit! That's actually pretty badass. Really. That's pretty cool. He teleports away. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how this ties back to Sir Tiffy here, but apparently this is where the quest ends, so if we talk about Devious Minds, we should get the pop-up any second now. Oh, we actually get a cutscene. Oh, no, we don't. What's going on? Game? And there we go. There is Devious Minds completed. This was really quick. I was expecting a little bit more for, you know, the last requirement, but whatever. Uh, one quest point, 5,000 fletching XP, 5,000 runecrafting, and 6,500 smithing XP. So, nice little bonus there. But of course, now if we check our quest tab, we are completely ready for the Temple at Centerston. Let's fucking get it. Daily Escape is back to bring you another level. This time it is... Okay. Alright, forget that. Oh damn, I've been waiting for this. Accept quest. Okay, so we've reached the point in the quest where we have to do a Barrows run and... Okay, so we've reached the point in the quest where we have to do a Barrows run and we are no stranger to Barrows, so let's fucking smash it. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we've reached the point where we can pretty safely do Barrows without food now. I don't know why I'm mentioning that, but I feel like that's just sort of like a, a milestone-esque type thing to mention, so... How absolutely wild would it be if we got like a Barrows drop in the same chest as the thing we need for the quest. That would be fucking insane. Alright, what's it gonna be? Just as long as I get my quest item, I really don't care. Well, quest item it is, and yep. Alright. Back in the day when I used to watch Suami's videos, I remember he would train with a cannon here at these Steel Dragons, and I'd, I had no idea where this place was in the game. I just thought it was some, like, super high level area that only the best players could access, but... I don't know, it's just, it's bringing back some memories, man. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen these NPCs in the game before. Ice Demons, I don't know if they've had, like, a graphical rework, but they look fucking awesome. Let's get a close-up of this one. Dude, these guys look fucking badass. This is such, like, a niche NPC that probably not many people use. Uh, sorry, not many people see. They look so fucking cool. <laughs> Alright. Because that happens. <laughs> Fucking suit, kid. I wonder what the aspect ratio is for this cutscene. Look how tiny everyone is. <laughs> okay, guys, you know what comes next. The thing we've been leading up to for the last few episodes. All we have to do is click this dialogue option here, and this should be the end of the quest. Holy Christ. Thank God, man. I've completed the temple at Sanderston, two quest points, two times 20,000 combat XP lamps, 20,000, 23,000 XP lamps, sorry, 10,000 prayer XP, access to ancient curses, baby, which is what we wanted, and access to the Sanderston altar, which is the only place we can access our ancient curses at the moment, and you are damn right we're gonna do that right now. All right, that's what actually unlocks us ancient curses, beautiful, so if we pray at the altar, don't know why I said pray so weird, but let's move on. Yes, replay my prayers with curses and holy shit, that is a beautiful sight to behold. All right, let's use all this XP lamp. What do we want to put these in? Experience lamp, let's throw this bad boy into Herblor because Iron Man. And you know what? Let's just get a constitution level. Let's just go crazy with it. Bonk, there we go. 85 constitution as well. All right, guys, let's go and start training some prayer. Okay, guys, so this is what I was talking about last episode. This is the little surprise I had. I've been saving up these cleansing crystals every time I've been able to buy a couple. I've just been buying them when I can, and we are at 72 at the moment, so this is roughly about 800-ish, give or take 1,000 prayer XP, but I will only be using them on the Heffen Voice of Seren hours just to squeeze out as much XP as possible, but for prayer training for the very immediate future, this is what we're doing. So I thought while we're waiting for the half an hour to come back, I thought I would just quickly discuss uh, the future goals and ideas that I've got moving forward with the account. So obviously now we have obtained curses, so I want to turn my attention towards the World Wakes. Now this quest is incredible, mainly for its rewards. Not only do we get a massive amount of XP for a variety of different skills, one of those skills by the way is prayer, and we get like 250,000 prayer XP, so that's, that's another big reason. But on top of that we also get the five ultimate combat abilities, being Sunshine, Death Swiftness, Balance Strike, Natural Instinct, and Guthix Blessing. But obviously the two most important ones are Death Swiftness and Sunshine. Now in order for myself to feel confident about completing this quest, I want to have at least, and when I say at least, I truly do mean bare minimum, base 90 melee stats. Ideally I would like them to be slightly higher, but that's the base that I'm, that's the, that's the bare minimum that I'm setting. 
So that is the goal that we're working on at the moment and for the next few episodes I don't know how long it's going to take us and on top of that I will also be working on the light within quest because this is also a very important quest to get done Although it is just a much more experienced quest There's a lot of skills I still have to get done as well as a few quests here and there one of those being the world wakes actually so as I said, we're going to be working on that quest and then following that up, the light within will be our long, long term goal. Now you might not have realized in all the midst of me just completely rambling and bullshitting about my future plans and you know, all the prayer training and stuff, you know, I can, I can see how that could get a little bit boring. So you might not have realized that we've actually started training our fishing with a fishing rod matic which if you do know what that is, you will know that once we get this to level 10, we are about to be hit with a massive wave of invention XP. There's level 73 fishing, by the way, but my plan is to save up a couple of these and then at the end of the episode we will break them down for you know roughly a million invention xp and that's just going to be serotonin through the roof Alrighty guys, here is level 82 prayer and this is where we're going to leave it for the episode. To be honest, I thought we were only going to get level 81, so the fact we were able to squeeze out level 82 is amazing and that is all of the leech curses unlocked as well, which is great because these are basically just the improved versions of piety and all that. But that'll be all the prayer training we do for the most part, at least for the foreseeable future. I'm probably just going to start saving up these cleansing crystals again and maybe next time we start training prayer we can get to level 90 or level 92 or something like that. But that's going to be pretty pretty far ways down the line. Well guys, that is going to do it for episode 42 of the Hard Cry Man from Scratch series. I hope you did enjoy this one. I had a really fun time making this episode and unlocking curses. Now, of course, we're not quite done yet. We still have a fishing rod matic to disassemble. I know I said we were going to have two, but I, I only had time to do one. So in place of the second one, I went and did 10 hard clue scrolls. And, uh, and we're going to open those up right now. But first things first, I think we should disassemble this fishing rod matic Now, this is the first one on the account, but it's, you know, the first of many. And this is going to be the first real proper chunk of invention XP we're going to get. So let's go ahead and disassemble it. And there we go, 460,000 invention XP, taking us all the way to level 37. Hopefully, I'll be making this a more regular thing now, and we'll start training invention a little bit more properly. Guys, I wish I had my live reaction for this, for this casket opening, because you're going to see here in a minute something pretty crazy happens. Anyway, the first casket was pretty average, so we decided to use a re-roll, hoping to get something better unfortunately that didn't really happen and we ended up with some pretty hot garbage as well the second casket was trash again i don't know why it said it was worth like 400,000 gold but anyway i don't know uh the third one we pulled our first fortunate component which is really good to see uh, look as long as i get some fortunate components i really don't care uh the magic compo as well making a return again last episode we got like three of these bad boys so very happy with that reward um straight into the next one very bad casket. Now, I know it says it's worth a million GP, but that's just coming from these costume skipping tickets, so it's really not worth it for us to keep them. We're going to re-roll it into a fortunate component, which is what we like to see. Uh, a nice unique in the in the form of some Rune Guthix plate legs. Another great thing about these caskets is, you know, even if we can't re-roll the rewards, for the most part, we usually do get some nice materials, like some, you know, these mahogany planks. They do add up eventually, but we will re-roll this one since we do have it available. Uh, and unfortunately, we didn't pull anything from that re-roll followed up with another extremely similar casket which we cannot re-roll which is a little unfortunate seeing as it's only worth 124,000 gold yeah sure do wish i had my reaction recorded for this one but uh yep holy crap <laughs> yep that's uh that, yeah, that's an amulet of fury t yeah you're 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 looking at that correctly i just think it's absolutely hilarious that we worked our absolute butt off to get our own uh, amulet of fury and then we just pull one casually out of a clue scroll that actually turns out to be uh, stat wise better than the one we already have so 
Yeah, that's pretty funny. Alrighty guys, just wrapping up the last couple of these clue scrolls. Nothing too special about this one. You know the rule, if the reroll is available, we will use it. And of course it nets us another fortunate component, which is great. I think we're at about four so far for this opening, which you know, that's really good. I think we should be well and truly above 50 at this point. Well guys, like I said, that's gonna do it for episode 42. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. If you didn't, drop a dislike, helps me out all the same. If you're new here and you enjoy what I do, maybe drop a sub, it helps me out an absolute ton. We're trying to hit a thousand subs and we're really close so let's make it happen alrighty guys that's gonna be it from me i hope you have a great rest of your day i will see you in the next one see you guys and i want to turn my attention towards the world wakes mainly because of the abilities and just the, the massive amounts of commentary that i can't apparently do properly so i want to turn my attention towards the world wakes now this quest is just incredible for just the reward oh my fuck